Are you ready? Rosella is one of our cheer moms. She is here as a serving president, of course, for the bake sale. Rosella, could you tell us a little bit more about the bake sale this evening and different items you're selling to raise money? Yes, tonight is Cheer for the Cure. We're selling cupcakes, we also have candy, we have pretzels, we have chocolate lollipops that are safe in the um, breast cancer symbol. And then also over here on the spirit table, we have our normal stuff that we sell. We sell the beads, um, the hats, we have pom-poms. We also have seat cushions and shirts that we sell for cheerleading. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Rosella. Definitely supporting a great cause. Well, look who we have here. Hello, Miss Marie Hess. How are you? Good. How are you? Wonderful. Well, Marie Hess is running for city council this year. Definitely get out and vote on November 5th. Marie, what do you think about tonight's game? It's very exciting. It's exciting to see the community pulling together for our youth, to see the football players, the cheerleaders, and the marching band. Wonderful. How do you think tonight's game is going to turn out? Of course, Coastville is going to win. Absolutely. Coastville pride. Thanks again, Marie. Thank you. And I'll start. <laughs> Test. Corinne, what's your last name? Menden Hall. Menden Hall. Menden Hall. Corinne Menden Hall is one of our 2013 2014. Uh, Corinne Menden Hall, I'm standing here with Corinne Menden Hall, which is a uh, brand major, right? Uh, 2013 2014 class. Wonderful. Uh, Corinne, I understand the band has a little something for us. Is that correct? Yes. Wonderful. Well, let's get to it. is a drum major alumni and could you give us a little bit of information about the alumni and what you all are celebrating this evening? Sure, thanks. Um, tonight we're celebrating our 90th anniversary of the Coatesville Red Raider Marching Band and we've invited all of our drum major alumni this evening to celebrate. We're putting them on the field at halftime and our marching band, our current marching band, will be celebrating by making a performance extra special tonight just for our drum major alumni. We have 22 participants tonight and we have one that goes back to 1975. So we're proud of our heritage and our music excellence and we're celebrating all of that this evening. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being here this evening and definitely a, a great concept to celebrate.
3CTVLive.com would like to welcome our business community to advertise on our live web broadcasting on each game of the week. Please contact Al Ray Johnson at 610-306-9492. Again, 3CTVLive.com would like to welcome our business community to advertise on our game of the week. Looking to advertise your business? Well, 3CTVLive.com would like to welcome you, the business community, to advertise on our Game of the Week, Chessmont League, for 3CTVLive.com. Please contact Al Ray Johnson of 3CTV Live at 610-306-9492. Again, 3CTVLive.com welcomes the business community to advertise live on Game of the Week, Chessmont League. I'm here with Emmett Hunt, starting quarterback from 2012-2013 class. Uh, Emmett, could you tell us what school you decided to go with this year? I'm going at Delaware State. Okay, wonderful. And I understand you had an industry, or excuse me, an uh, injury, and we're definitely sorry about the industry in injury. I'm standing here with Emmett Hunt, starting quarterback from 2012-2013. Emmett, could you tell us what school you decided to go with this year? I decided to go to Delaware State. Okay, and I understand you had an industry, and we're definitely sorry about that. Could you tell us a little bit about your inju injury? Um, I was in a scrimmage, and I, I wasn't actually supposed to get hit, but I got hit anyway, and my shoulder had dislocated again, and it was the fourth time. So when I went to get an MRI, they told me I tore my labrum. So if I ever wanted to play again, I had to get it fixed now. Right. Well, we definitely understand, uh, you know, taking care of yourself first. Do you plan to go back in next year? Yeah, um, I'll be back in five months, and I can play in spring ball. Wonderful. Well, we wish you the best. Thank you. Winning coach Ortega of the Coachville Senior High School. Congratulations, coach, on your win. Uh, I understand you're five and zero this season. What do you contribute this to as far as this five and zero season? Um, you know, it's just uh, the senior leadership we have on our team. You know, just our guys work hard every week. You know, they came out, took care of business. So we expected a great game from Downingtown. We got it tonight, but you know, we found a way to win the game. We did it at the end. Wonderful, and I understand maybe some of our fans expected a couple more points on the scoreboard. Well, were you expecting the defense to, to come as they did, or were you expecting a little bit different from Downingtown? No, I mean, we, I think uh, in the second half we should have scored a touchdown or two, and in the first half we let a couple points on the board. But again, we found a way to win the game, and uh, you know, they brought their best effort, you know, but we were, you know, we were better tonight. We made the plays when we had to, and we'll take the W. Okay, again, uh, I know you're 5-0 and this season. What do you think you will have to continue to do with your team to continue your winning streak? You know, just take it one game at a time and just, you know, work on the things, that, again, the things that we saw today that we got to get better at and work on this, this week. Again, congratulations, Coach. Again, this is Amber Little reporting for 3CTVLive.com.